YouTube. What I got for you today is some Madden 22 Ultimate Team gameplay. And in this gameplay, I'm going to be playing Dub.W. If you're living under a rock, Dub.W, uh, professional Madden player. He's won a belt. One of the best content creators on our platform. Definitely, um, you know, someone I watch a lot and have so much respect for. We matched up with him in a head to head game. And I'm just going to show you guys a gameplay. I'm going to post comment because I didn't have my face cam on. We're gonna talk a little bit about the game. And to say the least, it was a competitive game, man, from start to finish. Uh, once more, it's on Mutt. And, you know, I'm finding out slowly but surely that Xbox, they're not no pushovers. I'm used to playing on PS4, PS5. Over the past couple years, this is my first year starting off Mutt on Xbox. Usually, I do play Xbox for those tournaments, but middle year. But this is actually my first year starting off on Xbox. And I'm finding out, man, you guys on Xbox are some tough guys. And... Uh, this gameplay shows that and I got some more gameplays lined up for you guys as of right now My record is 43 and 7 It's definitely solid, but I know it could be better But with all that being said and done hit that like button sub if you do enjoy these gameplays and content um, I got some tips gameplays and more content on the way for you guys. Let's get into the gameplay So here we go guys uh, the time to start up a game this year is very very fast seeing that top right corner dub dot dubby We matched up with him he was streaming, I was streaming, is his top three is Allworth, Ramsey, and Derrick Henry. My top three is Allworth, Donald, and Alexander. The beautiful part about this game is we were both streaming, as you can see in the top corner. Um, I had 187 people watching during this gameplay. As the gameplay goes on, the viewers list, or the viewers watching is going to spike up. And that's just kind of how it works. You play a comp game, and you know you start to see those viewers fast. Um, I am in currently the Carolina offensive playbook and on defense we are in Miami even though there is no defense in this game uh, that's the defense we're in it's right here he's gonna be in 335 all the defense I actually hadn't played against all year as right here he's gonna start off this game sending that pressure and boom he loops in gets two people free I kind of panic read I had the streak open on that cover three bomb I want to say and just not the way you want to start off Madden games at all this year, especially on how the zones are and how hard it is to get a stop. W with a nice little screamer to start off the game. And Tyron Matthew makes a huge play. I feel like that would have been open if I waited like a split second. But, you know, there's no excuse. I had literally almost everything else open. Uh, just a very, very terrible read to start off the game. So right here, we're going to decline his flag for delay of game, uh, gentlemen's agreement. And here we are. We're going to start off in the 3-3-5 wide and kind of move from defense to defense. And, you know, he's going to start off with Derrick Henry inside zone. And, man, there is something glitch with Derrick Henry on the inside zone. It feels like he always breaks that first tackle. Um, if you kind of want to play more balanced and, uh, you know, want to slow the game down a little bit, definitely get that Derrick Henry and run a couple of runs with him. It doesn't even matter what runs they are, whether it be shotgun or strong close. Uh, it definitely, like, right there. It's perfect example. He literally... There was three people in the backfield and none of them could get him. He had the worst truck animation you could possibly see. Uh, hopefully it does show this little replay. Look at that. Aaron Donald, Vaughn Miller, and my user Adderley were all there and no one can make the tackle. But like I was saying, man, if you want to slow the game down, get yourself a Derrick Henry. He's right here. I'm expecting him to run once more, you know, start off the game, two runs. And he actually ends up passing and he decides to fall down. Very questionable in my opinion. Definitely should have just thrown it away. There's no intentional groundings really this year or throw out a sacks. So, you know, I was definitely happy about that. But, you know, he could still easily score um, with how the zones are. It's right here. He subs in Christian McCaffrey, and that's a big tell for me that he's going to start passing more often. Um, he's going to motion out this right side, and we are running cover three. Big mistake. It's right here. I feel like I'm there, but we're just not there at all. User plus zone combination results in a Christian McCaffrey touchdown. And I want to say McCaffrey's like only 85, 86 speed. Adderley, myself, um, you know, my user, I think he's 6'1 with 90 speed. I 100% thought I was there. He kind of stepped up a little bit, which probably definitely helped him out throwing that. Um, and it just went over my user, and it was a really good dot. And there he is going up seven. So, man, it's not looking good at all. We actually just, like, I really can't believe we gave up that touchdown on a second and goal from the 20. 
Um, but nonetheless, it was just a great read, great pass, but definitely got to tighten up and, you know, hold the threes. Holding the threes are the biggest wins ever. Obviously, if you get a pick, it's something very rare, but it does happen, man. It does happen. As you saw on my first play, I did throw a book. Um, so holding the threes are big dubs and, you know, getting interceptions, like those win you games. Like, it's super easy to run offenses right here. We're going to hit him with a double post flat route. Ramsey, I believe he had Ramsey in his slot and... Ramsey couldn't, you know, hold them to hold us to less than 10 yards on that flat. That double post flat route, super cheesy. It's right here, man. We start to ID some guys because I'm just trying to go up top, and that's what we're trying to do right here. Boom. As you guys see right here, I'm gonna ID his left guy. I'm just trying to get some time in the pocket, and we do send a running back out. But man, this loop is lo this loop is looping in. Uh, I had a couple people open right there, and that's a terrible flag for us. Intentional grounding like it does happen in the perfect scenarios. So right there I had no one in the left flat thus resulting in intentional grounding. I had the crosser and I had the streak man uh, Just definitely tough by myself To you know, I wanted a streak uh, and get that touchdown, but it just wasn't happening is right here We're gonna hit a and get some of those yards back making it a third and 12 and let me know if you guys want to know the streak out of verticals and why everyone is throwing streaks I can make a video on it. I've already made one verticals video which did pretty well right here we're gonna hit this corner route double post corner routes sometimes people forget that play play right there is pretty insane still um the corner route cut is pretty not like the corner route the corner route cut isn't really that good it doesn't look pretty at all but you still get hella yards on that it's right here we're gonna hit oj howard truck the first guy but there he is with sneed uh cleaning it up it's right here we come out on short side bunch and we're just trying to hit djx up the right seam Y curl is a really good play, if you ask me, and that's what we get right there. Um, look at his deep blue, just not reacting. Tyron Matthew just actually kind of ran away from the, the seam. And, um, you know, I lowballed that because I thought, you know, maybe it'd be a tougher play. You know, just I always have that, you know, habit of giving the zone defenders a little bit, bit, a little bit of more credit than they deserve. Um, I'm so used to, you know, like cornerbacks and all those type of guys being so good because I play all Madden a lot. It's right here, we throw absolute blind read. So, you know, our two incompletions are been, you know, picks or should have been picks. Um, you know, that's just, that can't happen. And, you know, at, at least at, at this state of the game right now, that type of stuff can't happen. It's right here, we are going to hit Raheem Moster, get a nice rack animation, and get all the way down to the one yard line. It's right here, we're trying to sneak it in. We're trying to run QB sneak, and that just didn't have a chance. Um, Fourth and one right here, a huge play. Dubby does get the ball at half, and if he stops this right here, I'll probably say this game is over. So, you know, this is a must-convert scenario. We're going to run power O, run it to the left, and power O, man. It's been really nice for me. Um, we do get the one yard. Thankfully, we didn't, you know, get stuffed, but we don't score the touchdown, so we still have to take care of that. And that's what we're able to do right here with a Josh Allen QB sneak. And we're going to be able to tie up this game at seven apiece. Right here, guys, I decided to run a little bit of cover four, and it was a great idea. Nothing is open right here, and we do get a nice shed sack, um, and I should have stuck to cover four after seeing that. I'm not saying, like, you know, completely bag them, because obviously everyone has different plays and more plays, but that did a really nice job in, you know, containing the play he called. And you know what we do? We end up running cover three right here, which is a big mistake for the future. Um, you don't want to run cover three at all versus these tight compressed sets is right there boom easy dot wheel route we do send the pressure and no one came home i don't know what happened maybe we should have tried to use a rush but you know that's the biggest thing when you send five and they send five out the pressure actually did come in but it took a little second as you saw lorenzo carter right there on the right side not able to scream right here guys we come back to this cover four look and he decides to run inside zone and guys honestly man um it, i felt like every time he ran the ball i just it was easy for me because like he wasn't really getting any rush yards, and Aaron Donald, man, just keep track of Aaron Donald on this run. He just blows it up every time. It's right here, man. He's going to run this cover three bomb to the left side, and this is what I said. You don't want to run cover three. Absolutely bombs me. Um, I, didn't be, I wasn't able to flip my coverage like I had been able to the play before. That flip, I don't know if you guys noticed, if you want to rewind. Dubby did a nice little flip at the beginning of the play, and I, didn't, I was not able to flip with him. I just didn't think I needed to. And that just happens when you play some offense or defense you haven't seen before. He hits me over the top with a streak. And I know you guys are sick and tired of seeing the streaks. I've been throwing my fair share of streaks. People have been throwing it against me. 
um that right there was just a perfect executed call what i was saying is you know it was a perfect executed call to catch me with a nice cover three bomb right after a timeout i had called the timeout to preserve some time after he decided to run that inside zone and boom he hits us over the top and right here man we are gonna have to try to get some points um this is honestly not the worst case scenario for us it's right here the loop comes in again and man oh man i was getting looped this game um loop 335 odd any type of loop it looks really good honestly at least this is my first time playing it see right here i'm gonna start iding him and seeing if that works um that loop man that loop was just getting to me honestly and right here we're just gonna hit oj howard up the seam that verticals play call is really nice i probably had that wheel route but i just want to be safe and secure and take the thing that can't get baited it's right here we are going to be running verticals again nothing new uh this time we flip we try to you know get him with what he's been getting us with and we had oj howard up the seam um i believe we had that cover three bomb as well but once more the pressure gets there again and the pressure had been getting there and getting there and getting there um and i gotta throw to oj howard right there he covered the crosser by himself so that was good by him it's right here we're just gonna hit him with a nice simple out route something that's so effective and so overpowered um wait for that tip tuesday coming out soon it's right here we're going up tempo man and i don't know why i decided to do this w have been playing backed off coverage and i thought i was able to bomb him but no that was a terrible read and a terrible play call um w just had been played back off backed off coverage for a reason that's how you prevent those cover three bombs you back up your coverage and they play them better not saying you still can't do it you can still get them in certain scenarios and that right there was a the scenario i thought but everything else was open and plus i was on the short side just a dumb mistake and that's you know that's what happens man i run short side like for the first time i decided to throw a pick and that's just me being a noob but see right there i have two turnovers man compared to his zero he gets ball at half. If he even gets any type of points right here, it's going to be looking bleak for your boy. Right here, guys. We send the cover four look, and, you know, it did, it did really well. Um, he had that wheel route wide open. It was kind of a high-low read. The hard fly had to, you know, pick up the drag, and boom, the wheel route's wide open. But our pressure gets there right in time. He kind of had a terrible pocket. Not terrible, but he tried to get, you know, outside the pocket, try to leave. And we had contains on the field, and it did the, it did their job. It's right here, guys. I'm trying to get in one four six, and you know maybe get this ball back, maybe make a play. Um, I don't know, man. Just see if I could even scream. You know, one four six wasn't all that working for me. It's right here. He decides to run. Pretty nice play call, and you know it's gonna help him. You know, try to go for this and get this first down. So you know, instead of a fourth and long or fourth and medium, it's now a fourth and two pretty easy scenario to get it's right here we're gonna run cover four once more and everything is kind of bad except i have a shitty shitty user man and i don't know if you guys have happened this happens to you too where sometimes you're just kind of looking at your other routes i felt like he had that drag wide open on that left side and i was thinking oh he's gonna hit that drag i, I left him wide open he actually ended up going and attacking my user and it was because it was pretty sleepy but there goes aaron donald once more and there's still a chance like he doesn't get any points um he is on the 44 we don't have super kickers yet uh that's gonna be crazy once we get super kickers but you know i would say he probably needs seven to eight yards to get a nice manageable field goal it's right here we're trying to blitz him uh we play cover two on the right side sometimes you can't mix in cover twos but you know it does suck when they have a deep blue there or something uh or a streak as right there he did have a streak on the right side i was gonna get bombed but he had a nice easy quick read just trying to get that first down and he is gonna be able to get three now so w end up getting three um he kicked it kind of early but now look at this guys we have a chance to get points ourselves. we have verticals over the top and just an easy beautiful dot but the thing is we don't have enough time i don't know if you guys had seen it but my screen was shaking and there goes allworth he's definitely decent but i prefer moss over him and right here here's the final play before half we're gonna try to hit this left side and, you know maybe try to get lucky a little bit um but that's not happening jair alexander is just gonna pick it off out of bounds and I guess I did give him a little bit of momentum. On to the second half we go, guys. So right here, guys, we decide to make up switch. We get in 146 man coverage. It's always pretty decent versus tight and you know tight offset. The cover one robber with the purple on the right, purple on the left, so that purple could guard those corner routes. I keep this three rec on the right side because it'll be able to help me with those drags. But look what happens to Deion Sanders. He gets bumped. 
I don't know if that was going to be open or not, guys. I really wasn't be going to be able to tell. But nonetheless, he absolutely torches me. He gets bumped. You know, if it was open, great dot. If I get if I, but I think I got bumped. Either way, it did look open um, right off the cut. And yeah, man, that just goes to show that man coverage is not that great at all this year. Um, the one time I ran it, literally, I was able to I was able to get bombed. So right here, we go back into this cover four look, and here goes King Henry. We almost get a you know fumble, get a nice land a nice hit stick on him, but King Henry isn't fumbling that. It's right here once more, King Henry, but we we're able to meet him in the backfield. And I don't mind this approach by W. You know, run it a little bit, get some uh, clock off there. And, you know, maybe set up a passing play right here. As right, you see right there, I have 222 viewers in the Twitch chat right now. Um, go follow my Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Pavin Lakot. I'm going to try to stream as much as I can, especially when the game officially comes out. It's right here, guys. He hits us with a beautiful route. I can't even hate. He had a delayed out route. And just look at this play art on this right sl Saint slot wheel. Look at that running back route. That's a beautiful route. Felt like everything was bagged as well. And he just hits us with that nice route. I had the three wreck there too. Three wrecks are pretty good against those running back routes and those little intermediate routes, uh, short routes, I should say. But right there, it didn't matter. It's right here, he's gonna run again. And like I said, man, every time he ran, my guys were able to fight. Every time he passed, I wasn't getting any type of fight from anyone. And this game is looking like flood alert, man. Um, you know, he gets seven right here. This is gonna be a flood. And, you know, probably gonna end up getting trolled. But we're gonna fight back a little bit. Uh, defense finally makes a play for us. We'll take it. It's a little fluky. And look at that. 8 of 9. We have not been able to stop him. And 8 of 9 isn't like a big sample size. But, I mean, that's still pretty respective. He has over 200 yards. And right here, man, a big third down and goal. Um, 7 completely ends the game. 3, you know, keeps us in it for a little bit. He has all the momentum on his side. We have to make a play, man. We sent 2. Trying to get a little lucky. It's right here. He had that right side wide open. He had A open as well. Um, but, you know, he just chooses to hit that hitch. We get a fortunate animation from him catching it. Instead of getting a good rack, he kind of got that bad rack. And here it is, the man. Decision time. Is he going to go for it or is he going to kick three? Me, personally, I'm going for it, man. But W ends up kicking three. Um, either way, it's a smart decision. Why I say I'd go for it is because, um, you know, you score, the game's over. Plain, plain bank, period. The game is over, period. Um... But if you, you know, end up kicking three, there's that chance I could come back. Either way, I'm still going to have to score and get a stop, which is very, very tough to do. But, you know, we have a long ways ahead. All we have to do now, all we have to think about now is getting seven. And I honestly hate this scenario, man. Um, I do it sometimes. I know a lot of other people do it too. They're more focused on getting the stop rather than scoring. I know it's easy to score in this game. But, you know, even at this time of moment, I'm like, all right, got to get seven, got to get seven, then we could deal with it. But here we go, man. The screen is shaking. The momentum is against us. We are going to try to start dotting up. We had the verticals route wide open, the crosser all worth. We had that so naked. I should have hit that. But nonetheless, we're able to get a nice chunk of yards to Raheem Moster on that simple out route. And right here, we're just going to go no huddle or up tempo, you could say. We're just calling hike as fast as we can. Right here, we hit that corner route. Great read. Get out of bounds. We have a, uh, you know, getting out of bounds here helps us um, and able to, you know, score faster. Right here, 20 seconds left. And man, if I could somehow get seven before um, the fourth quarter ends, fourth quarter starts, I should say, then we'll have a chance. And right there, I saw something I liked. I had that post wide open. And man, I'm telling you, man, this loop is coming in pretty uh, frequently. You know, the loop uh, success rate for him is definitely above, I'd say, like 50%. It's right here. We're going to hit this post. Could have waited a little bit. Terrible click-ons. Um, that's another thing they had to fix, the click-ons. 100% thought, they thought, uh, Dubby thought that he, they were going to click him on to, you know, Sneed or whoever his strong safety, middle safety was. Instead, they click him on the right cornerback, the cornerback all the way on the other side. That kind of caused uh, him to be out of position, thus helping me score with Tyree Kill. And, you know, that was what I wanted, man, to score before the fourth quarter started. Just give me a little bit of time. Give me basically a timeout. Think of that, you know, fourth quarter as a timeout. And Dubby probably should have maybe taken it out and tried to waste that six minutes, six seconds, but it really doesn't matter. It's four-minute quarters, all pro mutt in the beginning of the year. Uh, it is. It seems serious, but it's not all that serious. And right here, man, this is where you could find stuff. This is where you could, you know, work on, you know, your defense. 
um, try to get that stop because you know I want to be able to get that stop if I'm in an MCS game like this as you see right here we're gonna start playing a little bit more aggressive um, we send a blitz and that blitz finally comes home I like what I did right there I had that left corner in a vert hook W missed a wheel route to the left side he had a couple people open I believe he was trying to bomb me and I seen that once I seen that bomb like yeah we got to get back in cover four man we have to get back in cover four that did not look good at all and we decided to send that right side cornerback look at this blitz setup it's not good coverage at all I know it man but you know we're trying to make a play it's right here he makes a good read um, I don't know if he saw what happened last time he saw me putting a vert hook on that left side this time Instead of putting like a motion drag, a motion slant, what he had been putting earlier, he put a motion hitch. And that hitch just sat there and just, you know, got those yards in that first down. Almost first down. So right here, guys, I see Derrick Henry in the game. I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to be run all the way. Run all the way. And yes, we're right. We didn't have a chance. I probably, probably should have ran commit. I won't lie to you guys. I probably should have ran commit. But three gets us. Three kills us. Touchdown really doesn't kill us if they score fast. But, you know, if they if I run come in, you know, W falls down around the 30, that's probably GG's, man. That's probably GG's it's right here. He's going to go into another running formation. And this run actually popped off. And I didn't expect this to pop off. But he gets a nice amount of yards. He makes our guy miss. That has to be a tackle right there. But nonetheless, you know, second and inches again. Pretty bad scenario for us. And this is where we tighten up, man. This is where we had to send the dogs or be aggressive or play very risky. Because, you know, like I said, man, if he scores a touchdown, so be it. We could go down and score a touchdown, too. Um, what we can't control is the clock. So, you know, we don't have enough time. We do have, you know, we're able to get points, but we don't have time to get points. So, right here, W's going to let this tick all the way down. And we're trying to play, you know, decent defense. We actually blow up this run. And that's why what I was telling you earlier about Aaron Donald. He makes a huge play in the run game, just blows up the double team comes in and i have my user there too for insurance and here we go man third and one you know this doesn't look like too you know what's it called too nerve-wracking or too you know serious but it is a big third and one right here uh we are trying to you know send some pressure and once more he runs the ball and we blow it up and you know we have a chance now fourth and one two straight runs three straight runs i don't like the play calls by w honestly it's so easy to pass in this game um I understand maybe trying to get a first off an easy run play, but I was pinching my D-line. I was doing everything I can, and here we go, man. This is the play of the game for sure. We get this stop. We're in money. I love my chances to win. I'm going to clock him out or at least try to, and we are going to get aggressive. Look at this right side of the field. We have a hook curl. We have a hard flat. We send the pressure. It actually does come in, and look at this play. It's going to be a 50-50. I kind of slow down with Sneed, and streaks, streaks, streaks. What a dime by Josh Allen. We're going to have to rewind this. First, notice the right side pressure. I love the play call to put a hook curl on the field. Everything was open. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but Snead has to make that play. And trust me, I'm, I'm fine with that now. Because later on, I know, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, with the better corners, the better zone in the game, maybe when the game gets up a little bit, there will be some better animations on the ball right there but look at that man Sneed kind of slowed down guys he definitely slowed down I don't know why what happened or what what caused it but I want to say it was because he ran into um the, the Deshaun Jackson it looked like he ran into Deshaun Jackson and that caused me to slow down just a little bit resulting in the game being over man he's on the one now this game is pretty much chalked and gg'd and wow, just a game of inches, right? Like, Sneed could have made a huge play. It would have been an unbelievable comeback. But it's looking like this game is over. W right here is going to end up running fullback dive with Derrick Henry. And we're just going to let him score, man. I mean, there's not much more we could do right here. He actually didn't score in the first time, which I wanted him to score in the first time rather than be able to kick three. But there it is, man. He's going to be able to go up two possessions now. And to add it on, he's going to go for two just to make it more safer game for him. Um, and he actually does end up getting in. Look at this, man. What is it? What kind of animation is that, man? I felt like I had a couple people there. Um, I think he tried to truck and they gave him that animation where like he kind of holds up the line. Nonetheless, up 14 right here. We could definitely score, but you know... It's going to be tough to get that stop. And look what it's come to, man. W is in literally three deep. It's right here. We're just throwing dots. Uh, OJ Howard, made, I wish I could have broke one of those tackles right there. 
it would have just saved us like 20 seconds of football um you know and just gave us a better chance but right here man look at this kind of crazy dot we playmaker that guy inside throw it on the run and man where were those plays earlier in the game i was not making any of those plays we're gonna able to cut it down but there's 30 seconds just not that much time left cut it to a seven point game so right here w i thought he was gonna run but he actually ends up passing and you know he had everyone open he had that right side streak open that's how bad the thirds are and you can't put a deep half man uh you know best believe you don't put a deep half out there because they're somehow worse than the thirds w actually ends up running the ball on third down and here we go man we got 12 seconds in a timeout you know got to go 70 yards on the field definitely gonna have to throw up a streak or ag or something but you know w if he came out in three deep on that in that possession before this you know he's gonna be in three deep now and i don't think it's even possible to bomb three deep i know you could bomb a lot of things but three deep is not one of them it's right here we actually had a we actually had a wide open from the get-go if i pass that earlier i could definitely make some plays with oj howard and probably get to the 30 yard line with like three seconds left and it's just a misread i was looking towards the left i was looking towards the right and i didn't even peep the seam but you know that's gonna be game right here we're gonna just try to roll out try to get lucky tgl maybe and uh nothing's gonna happen we get the flag for pass the line of scrimmage and there it is gg's to dub dot there it is guys gg's a dub dot go check him out go follow him if you haven't if you've been living under a rock i'll leave his link in the description down below he streams every day he posts some nice youtube videos so go check it out maybe just maybe he'll make this a youtube video so um once more it's a lot of fun i'm actually having fun playing this game getting my mutt team right getting trying to get to level 50 and all that the gameplay itself definitely needs a fix and i'm sure that'll be on this way but I've been having fun, man, and Xbox kind of kicking my ass right now. I won't lie. So I'm going to have to tighten up and get right on the Xbox. Until next time, guys, I got another gameplay coming up versus Joel CP, number one guy on Mutt right now, Xbox leaderboards. You're definitely not going to want to miss that one at all. But until next time, guys, once more GG's in the chat. GG's in the chat. Hit that sub button, like, and comment what you guys, uh, what your record is right now on either console. Until next time, boys. Catch you guys later.